Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and here's a question. In poultry the barred plumage is sex link trait with barred being dominant over the non barred plumage pattern, the progeny of mating of non barred feather pattern cock with homozygous barred hen will be and you have to choose one of these answers. And here's an example of the barred plumage. Each individual feather is barred and overall appearance of the hen is barred. In birth sex determination is different from what you already know in mammals where males specify sex of the progeny because males are heterozygous for sex uh, chromosomes and can produce gametes of two kinds. One that carries Y chromosome and the other kind which carries X chromosome. And female gametes only carry X chromosome. But in birds, hen or female specify sex of the progeny because female is heterozygous and males are homozygous for this sex chromosome. And we call this system ZW. Take a look. Males are going to be homozygous and going to be ZZ genotype. And females are going to be heterozygous and going to be ZW. Let's read our problem again. Barrett is dominant over non barred And we have non barred feather pattern cock. So it's going to be this genotype with homozygous barred hen. Barrett is dominant, so let's change that Z of the female to different color. So now this blue color would represent dominant allele. So this is going to be Barrett hen and non Barrett homozygous or double homozygous recessive male. Now just let's build simple Punnett square and let's see what the progeny of such a cross are going to be female genotype here on the top. So her genotype Z and W and this is female side and here on the side is going to be male genotype and we know that he is double homozygous. And now let's build simple Punnett square and let's find the genotypes and phenotypes of their progeny. By the way it is said that female or hen is homozygous. But actually as you see because female specifies the sex of the progeny we call her hemizygous instead of homozygous. Because this is two different sex chromosomes. So take a look. Progeny from the father side only can get that chromosome which is going to carry recessive allele on it. And from the mother side progeny can get with the Z chromosome or W chromosome. Now let's analyze the progeny. 50% of the progeny are going to be males and males are going to be heterozygous would carry recessive allele and one dominant allele and their pattern is going to be buried just like their mother. And another 50% are going to be females and these females would have two sex chromosomes just like their mother but from their father they would inherit only recessive allele on this Z chromosomes and would be non barred. So this is progeny, this is going to be males and this is going to be females. And as you see the correct answer is going to be answer D, all male barred and female non barred. And this is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.